Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and in this Cool Tools video, I'm going to show you three distinctly different portable soldering iron options. Maybe that's not something you've ever considered before, but I've got all three that I would recommend here on the same table for you. Now, I also have three separate videos detailing each of these options in more depth. And I'll link to those in the show notes here. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you all three side by side on the same table do a little quick hands-on demo, and let you make up your own mind on which one might be best for you. First up, we have the Hakko FX901. This guy runs around $33 on Amazon. It uses four AA batteries. I've got rechargeables in here. The batteries come out as a clip, which makes them easy to change. At full charge, you should get around an hour of continuous use, but I tend to just sip off the power right when I need it. It gets up to a useful temperature in around 30 seconds. The hand feel is a little top heavy, but the grip itself is pretty natural and it doesn't hurt my hand. Next up is this USB powered soldering iron. These come under different brands, but this one was just $9 on Amazon. It has a five foot long cord with a mini jack on one end and USB on the other. All connected, powered from my MacBook. It takes around 15 seconds to get to a useful temperature. A button on the handle activates it, and if your finger is off the button for more than 15 seconds, it shuts off for safety. Battery life really depends on what you have it plugged into, but this and a rechargeable USB battery pack will probably get you a long way. Last up, we have the Dremel VersaTip, which runs off butane. It's $40. It comes with a bunch of different adapters for hot cutting, shaping, and wood burning. It's also great as a hot air torch for heat shrinking wire. This one gets to a useful temperature in 25 seconds. Best of all, it's adjustable. So if you have work that needs higher heat, this might do the trick. Filled up, Dremel rates this for around an hour of continuous use. And when you do run out, it fills back up in seconds. Like the Hakko, you get a nice cap that can secure on even when the tip's still hot. So here they are all together. My general thoughts on this, I feel like at $9, everyone should have one of these small USB irons just as part of their tool bag. But for regular work, I personally reach for the Hakko more than the Dremel. It's quieter, and it just kind of feels safer to use than burning butane. I hope that was helpful to you. You can find Amazon links to all of these soldering irons in the video description, and you can find thousands of reader-recommended tools just like these at cool-tools.org.